thought I'd do a quick mini lesson on right hand harmonics. Um, this is a very cool technique that I learned from uh, Tommy Emanuel, great uh, fingerstyle guitarist. And I've been sort of like developing it over the years because I think it's an amazing tool and it, it gives you like another whole different color palette to play with in your performances. So, um, you know, you can use this on any guitar. I uh, prefer the steel string guitar for this technique just because um, the resonance that it has, the steel strings, you'll hear now, it's a little bit better with harmonics, especially if you have newer strings on the guitar. Uh, they tend to ring out a little bit more. So they tend to have a little bit more projection. So for the right hand harmonics, let's ju just do a quick recap of harmonics, yeah? So the guitar has um, different nodes, N-O-D-E-S, that uh, create harmonics when we touch them lightly, okay? We have nodes, the first node is on the 12th fret, which is essentially um, an octave higher. So if, if I were to play, if I were to play a low E, Play the node on the 12th fret that would be an octave higher and the same is true for every other open string now we can play harmonics with our right hand we usually tend to play them with our left hand just placing our fingers on the notes but we can also play them with our right hand and if we learn to play them with our right hand we can do some really cool combinations of the different um, harmonics and uh, pressed strings so let me let me give you an example if we were to play um, in A, in fifth position, we could play an actually like an A pentatonic scale using right hand harmonics and pressed uh, notes on the fretboard simultaneously. And this creates a really cool effect because we could do what essentially would be an A minor pentatonic scale we could do it alternating between harmonics and pressed notes and it would sound like this. Do you hear? It's the same thing. So what, what I'm doing essentially is I'm plucking with my thumb and I'm alternating between my thumb and my A finger, my ring finger. So in other words, I'm plucking with the thumb and I'm placing my right index finger on the node above the string. In this case, 12 frets above the, above the note, which would create, as I said in the beginning, uh, one octave, uh, one octave higher than the actual note. So in other words, this A, I'm playing it here. And what I'm doing is I'm plucking with my thumb and I'm placing my index finger right on the node to create that octave displacement. Do you hear that? This is the note that I'm pressing on the fifth fret, and this is the node that I'm creating here, one octave higher. And that way, I can start to build my minor pentatonic scale. Remember, I want to play, but I want to do that using a combination of harmonics and pressed notes like this. This creates a really cool effect. It's almost like bells because both the harmonics and the pressed notes are still ringing until they ring together. So it creates like a cascading effect. Now, again, the technique on the right hand for this is plucking with the thumb and at the same time, pressing the node with the index finger like so. plucking with the thumb and pressing my index finger on the string and then alternating by actually plucking normally with my A finger, with my ring finger. Again, I'll, do, I'll play it slowly. Plucking thumb, A, thumb, A, thumb, A, thumb. Thumb and index that is. Thumb, A. And essentially the notes are the minor pentatonic. Right? 
Fall. It's just a very cool effect, almost like a different instrument. Like a shamisen, yeah. It does sound like that, especially if you play the pentatonic scale, which sounds um, um, Eastern, very Eastern. And a lot of uh, Japanese music, for example, or Chinese music. So, again, and what I'm doing with my left hand is just, I'm basically just barring on the fifth fret so that I have the, all those notes available to me. If I, were to, if I were to just to pluck with the thumb and the A, alternatively, it would sound like this. But if I do it with the harmonics, then I go. Now this takes a little bit of practice, being able to pluck with the thumb and um, place a harmonic note with the index finger. But with some practice, you'll be able to do it. And then once you start getting very comfortable with this combination of plucking uh, and placing the, the index finger on the note, then it, it becomes really easy and you can start playing around with all different kinds of harmonies. Because essentially what you're doing is you're playing a scale. It looks like you're playing an arpeggio, but you're actually playing a scale. Kind of like when you would do this. It's, it's da, 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 da. another uh, minor pentatonic scale, right? An E. This is the same thing. Now, if you start playing, if you start playing different chords on the on the left hand, you can do a lot of really cool combinations, like this, for example. You can start getting modal. And when you start getting more comfortable with this technique, you can alternate and you can actually play around with the left hand fingers as well. So you can do really cool stuff like this. You can play around with pull-offs and hammer-ons. Different chords. 